is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 17 of Delicious Party Pretty Gears. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at her. It, it looks like it's in the shape of a heart. Is it? Oh, it's her her necklace. It's the trans. Oh, but I don't think it's this week. I I thought it's next week. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? We'll find out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because isn't this the episode where she's supposed to be quitting, and then next week is officially when she's about, or really this weekend. Um, when she is supposed to be a pretty girl. <laughs> Is it listening to someone? Oh, God.
Exactly. It's the necklace. Well, we won't know until we know, but it, it's for Precious Baby. <gasps> ah! Mm-hmm. Precious baby, oh my god. A lot has happened to her, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, wait!
No. Yeah, very weird, and it can't stand on its own. Yeah, might as well. Why is it so cold in here?
Yeah, if that goes off, then they'll be separated. Way too close. <laughs> but my nice has it, so. Mm hmm. She's gonna say no. Come on now. She's not ready for this yet. She's gonna say no. Oh my god. Take it back. 
can't have it just yet. Mm. And I get it. She's scared. She's scared. That's the biggest thing. And it's a big responsibility for her. And she's still traumatized about what she did as gentle. And she doesn't want to go down that road again. So, of course, like, she's going to unveil, I think, what, this weekend? I believe so, because it said episode 18 she's supposed to unveil. So, we're gonna see, like, something else happen in this next episode, indicating by the end of it, you know, finally. But, yeah, like, oh... The fact that when she was holding the heart, because it's the locket. It's the locket that I've seen, like, a couple of times on Twitter. Oh, I want to buy it so bad. <laughs> it's so, so bad. Which it does ship from Amazon Japan to America. And they said I could, I, um, I can buy it just on there. But I'm like, uh, I'm already spending money on this. And I don't know how much it is. Because somebody, somebody already bought it. And I'm like, damn. I'm like, this thing is going to so... So, so, so sell out, and I know it is. This is the same thing how I felt with, like, Laura's weapon last season and how I still want that transformation brooch because that thing is so pretty. Like, because all I have from Pretty Cure is Kitta Kitta, and that's the sweets pack, and, um, Cure, uh, Cure Parfait's wand. That's it. I don't have anything else, but I want it so bad. <laughs> and then her weapon, it's one of those, um... The, the frost things, the things that, the frost dip thingies, like, the, uh, oh my god, I don't know the word. <laughs> it's the, the piping bag. There we go. The piping frost dip bag. Oh my god. I want it so bad. So, so bad. So really, that kind of means we have, like, what, two more girls from the Sifuku series that need to also become pretty kids? It's going to happen. It's going to happen for those last two. I don't know when, but it definitely will. But, oh, she looks so gorgeous. Finally, the wait is worth it. I mean, I remember, like, the first time when her art got leaked and stuff. No, can we? No, no, no. Let, let's talk about this. Okay, this was last Saturday. Last Saturday or last Friday, and how Crunchyroll tweeted out, like, oh my god, did you guys know that the last cure is being played by I and her last name, right? And I was like, um, it was very obvious, you know, because uh, she plays gentle since the first episode, you know, has been unveiled. Like, the, the quote tweets was eating them alive. Like, oh my god, everybody was going in whether in the comments of that tweet or in the quote tweets, because bro, we're like, um, it, it, it was obvious from the beginning, like, cut, go, because of course, when, when she popped up and stuff and you already knew that she had potential, it was either going to be like, is she going to stay like a villain or are we going to get the same story that we've gotten so many times in the past? Specifically, if you look at like, not only this one, but also freaking go princess, and how hard Gold Princess went um, with Twilight and such. And that makes me kind of want to rewatch the show again because it's been a long ass time. Um, but how hard they went on that. And I feel like we're we're getting that same thing with um, Delicious in a way. But it's going a little teeny tiny bit harder. I do like the fact that once again we are getting cures a lot earlier. Hell of a lot more earlier than um, waiting until October. But then at the same time because... When October officially comes, that's when we're going to get their movie and to see how that goes. And, of course, we got to wait until, like, what, a freaking year, uh, about a year, a couple of months to a year, um, for it to be sub, which sucks. Because I'm like, oh, I just want to see more and I want to see these girls interact more together. But I am really excited to see what her transformation looks like this weekend. So I hope that this week goes by really, really quickly so that we can get to Saturday and then I can watch it on freaking Saturday and not like let it be super super late even though I know it's going to be and hopefully no one is still doing fireworks by the time the Saturday comes up but I think this weekend's episode is probably going to be like really the best freaking episode for her because this is a two-parter episode 
for Ay um, Ayame, and, you know, next week is just, it's time. That's all. It is freaking time. Like, oh, my God. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 17 of Delicious Party Pretty Here. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all this weekend for episode 18. Bye, guys.